Hey Rob, uh, Davis here from uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I listen to uh, listen to you every time I tell you release something. But uh, the question I have for you is: at the time of accepting uh, Parks and Recreation, um, TV wasn't the hottest thing to do, and it ended up being one of uh, your most popular roles. So, how did you feel uh, before accepting the role, and how do you feel after it's completed? Thanks, Rob. Love you, man. Great book. Hope you have a great life. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, yeah, it's it's it, you're right. When I came up, um, you know, uh, TV and movies are so much different than they are now. Shows like Friends, ER, The West Wing, Six Feet Under, The Sopranos, Twenty Four started to turn the tide to writers wanting to be in television and all of the great things start with the writing. So when the, wherever the writers go is where the actors follow. And, um, really with, with the success of, of the West wing. And I think the Sopranos that, that moved the needle to, to television and everybody kind of followed when I, when I did parks and recreation, um, a few years later, you know, that people forget that show, was always beloved by its core group, but it was always, you know, one show away from being canceled. And what's amazing is that, you know, the Nielsen or whatever the hell that they use to rate the shows isn't always a great barometer because here we are, I have a podcast, Parks and Recollection with Alan Yang because the show is so beloved and fans want to talk about it all these years later. And there's no metric for that when you get the Nielsen's. So you just never know what's going to stick in people's consciousness. And you're lucky if you have one in a career. And to have had various different ones is, is super, super cool. But uh, yeah, um, thanks for the, for the question. Really good question. And uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>